Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host and head admin of PML, Joe Zamora here. And with me, I got the coach of the Filipino Ferrothorns, Reb. Yes, uh, what, it, what it do everybody. Uh, it's your boy Eli the Rebel here. Uh, as Joe mentioned, I'm, I go by Reb. Um, fun fact, that's actually my middle name because because I like that a lot better than my first. But um, <laughs> but yeah, um, it, thanks for you know having me here in PML. I, I look forward to I look forward to the draft, man. I really do. Oh no, man! Thank you for joining. We we really wanted to get that 16 coach uh, draft going this season. Last year we had eight, so doubling it up is always good. Yes, I'm a huge fan of the 16 team uh, uh, form format. Um, I've I've mostly done either 16, and the smallest I've done was like was like 12. I I love the 16 team format personally. So it, it's nice that I'm one of the 16. Again, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, no problem. The 16 I think keeps everyone pretty balanced. I think uh, when we did eight last year, all teams were kind of broken in their own way. So it, it it'll be a little different this time around. Right. I think you're gonna find a lot more balanced teams. The more the bigger your league is, the the harder it is to find a to find broken squads simply because there's more picks you gotta go through and you know things come off the board very quickly in a 16 as opposed to an 8 so um, I'm excited to see what everybody's team's gonna look like once once it's all said and done once the dust is, once the dust is clear no for sure man and speaking of draft so much uh, what is your draft history my draft history so for the PML fans out there watching um, I met Joe because Joe was a season 2 participant in a league called UGL and unfortunately that that league did not finish uh season two um it was just due to you know a lot of people having you know school and work and whatnot but uh you know fortunately for you know i came across an ad and i was that joe was looking for more people and i was like wait i know this guy he sounds i've run into this guy before oh yeah he played in ugl a little bit okay i he sounds like a pretty good player and uh here, here, I, here I am. So, my draft history consists of one, one league in in Oras, and then I took a whole two, three year break. Um, um, not a two, three year break. No, it was more like four or five because Oras was 2013, 14 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I did, so I did that. Took the whole, took four, or five years off. I guess. Whoa. That's a long time. Yeah, had to get through. Had to get through college and stuff like that. But I think after picking up, I think after you know seeing, um, watching WBE Gen Eight uh, a couple of years ago, um, that's when I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go try this again. I'm gonna try the draft format again, and uh, it's been a blast. It's been a blast. I've I've won a I won a championship on my birthday, so that's like my highest achievement. Uh, in my draft career so far, so um, that that's my draft history for y'all. You know, a little something, something. You know, I'm I'm here. Like I know I understand what I'm doing, but honestly, like if it's not fun for me, then I won't be playing. So I really, if you check out my con, if you check out my content, the channel, uh, Joe's gonna link that somewhere. You got me? You got oh yeah, me? link will be in the <laughs> video in the description. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I really focus on the entertainment aspect of of draft league content because if it's not fun for me, then is it gonna be fun for the people you know watching? Not, not really. So, um, as much as I would like to brag about, you know, my my draft league history and my and my resume and things like that, I'm really just here to have fun and have a great time. And when all said and done, no, definitely, man. And being a a champion in the past never hurts. Uh, the fans want to watch you either. <laughs> yeah, gonna it, help them be like, yeah, you know what? Maybe the Ferrothorns got it this season. Yeah, man, it's it, it's a, it's gonna, it's it's whatever, man. It's it, it is what it is. You know, as soon as, as soon as week one starts, it's it's up. The chip is up for grabs at that point. Everyone starts off zero and zero, and it's just a race to see who. It's just a race to see who who comes out on top definitely the truth there man um 
I want to ask, what made you choose your logo? Um, so actually, the logo was actually um. So there was, there was a World Cup, uh, league going on, and uh, everybody wanted to uh, do countries and. Everybody wanted was it, the, one of the requirements was oh you have to be a country followed by a team name, and you know me being Filipino I was like you know what Filipino Ferrothorns kind of rolls off the tongue pretty nicely. <laughs> oh yeah, man, the double F really good. Yeah, I I like the alliteration, you know. So uh, that's how the that was the inspiration for my uh, PML logo, for sure. That's awesome, and I do appreciate you letting me edit around the JPEG. Uh, image to what you have now oh yeah no this is this is i really like the the logo that we have for the league for my logo in particular simply because like i have no idea how to remove the white background so i appreciate you you know helping me out with that oh, yeah, it no came problem. out great it came out great by the way i, I love it, it. <laughs> but man yeah uh would you ever change your logo to something different um, I have other logos. Um, I've so Filipino Ferrothorns isn't my only logo. I have a Kung Fu Pangaro logo. I have a Connecticut Soul Rock logo. Um, all I have I've used about three, four different other names beside the Filipino Ferrothorns before. So maybe maybe next season what maybe next season I'll rebrand. I'll I'll consider it for sure. <laughs> Alrighty, man. And then um, I'd like to follow up with uh. How do you feel the PML draft will be different from other drafts you've been in? So I think with the first of all the the date of the draft being so far so far away from from the time of this recording, I think it allows me to have a lot more time to plan out my entire team. But of course, in normal you know Eli fashion, whenever Eli drafts out a team, plans out a draft there's always at least one or two snipes in the first three rounds so <laughs> do it is planning really a requirement in draft league maybe that's another topic for another day right luckily most of the time i don't get sniped but then again i don't draft pokemon people want so it's just like all right i make it work with what i like right and i think that's the i think that's the beauty of draft league is it allows you to pick from certain tiers you know before draft league you know obviously i was playing ou ladder and things like that and you know one of the biggest things from converting from ladder to draft is oh you need to pick all these like you know these uu ru nu pu mons and i'm like i'm not really very familiar with these things because i never bring them to ladder it, it forces you to be more creative and to to use you know not as strong stuff but they still put in a ton of work under the right circumstances that, that's one of the many reasons why i love the draft league format so much oh yeah it, man um the, one of the funniest parts was uh two seasons ago someone uh drafted uh what's that pokemon not vile plume but the other final form of oddish blossom oh a blossom I, yeah. lo I love a blossom I he, love Blossom. He took that as his fifth uh, tier pick, and for the first four weeks, he got like sweeped with it with Quiver Dance. Yeah, Quiver. Yeah, Quiver Dance Blossom is a very viable set if you if you have the right support around it for sure. Um, it, I've you're not the only one that have seen that has seen sweeps with it. So. <laughs> oh no! It took the whole league by surprise. Everyone was like, "What the hell is going on here?" Blossom is the kill leader. <laughs> like everyone was amazed by it like it, it was no surprise it was a surprise for us mm -hmm. uh, but not the guy who drafted obviously he knew what he was doing right um yeah i'm currently in a national dex league right now and there there are there are a handful of tier fives in the top 10 kill leaderboard things like tier five two cannon tier five magmar i i have a tier five komala they're all in the top 10 for kills at the moment so tier Tier fives are very are just as important, if not more important than your than your tier ones, in my opinion, for sure. Oh yeah, it's always a surprise factor that'll get you those surprise good wins. Of course, of course. <clears throat> All right, man. Well, uh, I forget what number you are in the draft, but who do you expect to take as your number one pick? 
Oh, ooh, ooh. Now this is very. See, it really depends on what number I am. Um, if there's 16, if there's 16 coaches, my favorite spot is actually number eight. Um, because I just get to watch people. You know, I I just watch the vibe. You know, like I can see one through seven. Okay, they're going for those tiers. Then that allows me to get this tier because no one else is picking that up right now. Well, and I, then I and just, things like that. Oh, sorry <clears> for cutting you off. Uh, I just checked. You are number three. Oh, number three. Yeah. Okay, that's very interesting. So I have drafted in the third overall spot before. Um, I, you know, thing things that have fell to number three are things like before are like Dragapult. Um, Mew, um, Tapu Lele, like those are the types of things that have fallen to me in the past. I'm not 100% sure if uh, I would draft those mons again, but it really depends on what the first two is going to go with, and then I'll go from there. Well, I think uh, from the three you said, you for sure ain't going to get any of those. We don't have Legends in PML, and uh, the number one pick guy said he was picking Dragapult, so... Interesting, interesting. So he was yeah. like, I don't know when I'm going to get to use it again, so I want that. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, Dragapult is a is a really defining mon of the of the current generation for sure. That's that is a very solid first overall pick if if that is the truth that I'm being told right now. <laughs> That's at least what he told me. He he could pull a 180 in a month from now and be like, "You know what?" Nah, I'm gonna pick something else. Yeah, that that wouldn't surprise me. It's just a it's just a very good speed tier. You can put a scarf on and outspeed like uh weather sweepers, and just revenge kill it with a when you put a scarf on. It's actually it's actually very very insane how fast Dragapult is. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> most weeks you can run an adamant too because you don't need that extra speed. Man. If yeah, if you don't need the speed, you could go adamant or modest. Um. You can run band sets. You can run spec sets. You can run. You can run su substitute sets. Uh, is Dragapult has can do so much. It is actually insane. Beautiful typing. Beautiful stat distribution as well. It's basically a better Needle King. <laughs> <laughs> a really fast Needle King. <laughs> That's a really fast Needle King then. <laughs> Ooh. Um, all right, man. Well, how do you feel about the tiers in PML? Um, right now, so I've only I'm I'm gonna be completely honest with you, Joe. I only opened that the that document <laughs> once. So I mean, the draft is, the draft is only so so close from now. So um, I haven't gotten around to to planning around it yet. But um, for the most part. <clears throat> I haven't found anything, you know, too too shocking yet. Too shocking yet. But um I'm I'm just excited I'm just excited to see what, what comes to me third overall. Um I know some I know no matter what, it's always gonna be something, you know, good and hopefully I can build build a a complete squad around it. Yeah, I got you on that. And clearly you know how to build a mine, judging from how you've been talking about the other one. Um, what is your favorite battle strategy? Um, I, you know, so battle strategies can be classified as to what thing. It can be as as fast as hyper offense, or you can go all the way down to the opposite of the pole and and run stall. So, um, I'm I support the hyper off offensive side. Um, especially in draft, I don't think I don't think stall or semi stall in draft is isn't very viable because you just it's just it's just a setup fodder at that point mm -hmm. um <clears throat> so if i can I, I would like to run offense and bulky offense each and every week in a perfect world um and you know the thing if i were to describe like my drafting archetype it would be something on the lines of higher tier offense lower tier bulky mons so you know you'll have your so your tier ones are going to be things like the the dragapults the the age of slashes right some some mons that are you know 
that are going to hit hard hit like trucks and then in the lower tiers you'll have things that you know like uh i don't know like a lantern and like a lantern or or a, or a vile plume you know bulky bulky stuff that can take a hit here or there and for their val and for their value because they they really support and take hits for my tier ones and tier twos that want to click buttons and have safe switch ins for free and just do the most damage output possible i got you <laughs> and um we already talked about who you'd want number one but who would you want on your team to help you with your strategy? Um, so I think one of, so it's actually funny because the league that I, that I won my championship with, so that was a season, that was a season two that I won, but the season three final was, uh, yes, was yesterday or yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I've seen, and the the synergy between the the synergy that like Scizor and the synergy that Scizor has with Rain is honestly one of the one of the craziest like um, probably one of my favorite cores I've seen recently. Um, having Scizor in the rain, being able to take a fire move in, fire move in the rain, and being able to SD for free and and clean up with bullet punch in the in the end is honestly one of you know I I think like just having you know things that I think a lot of people want to I, I understand that draft you want to draft like you know your mons you want to draft mons that work for you but you also got to understand like why things work together mm -hmm. and a perfect example of that is having scissor in the rain because it's quad weak to fire so Putting Scizor in the rain allows it to take the fire move better, and then it can set up and, and sweep later on for sure. So if I were to, if I were to, it really depends on what I pick first. Um, once I figure out what I take at th third overall, then I'll essentially get two picks on the way back um, to to help fill out, you know, a a core potentially. Yeah. I like to, I like to fill out my Dragon Fairy Steel core in a perfect world. I like to get that out the way first, followed by the Elemental core. But not every draft's like that. Sometimes you just need to find stuff that just pairs really well together, like Scizor and Rain. <laughs> so um, it, it, it's it's really up in the like I've played with a lot of different types of archetypes. I've I've played with Rain before. I've played with Terrain. I've done both Weather and Terrain together. Um, it, I've done, I've done trick room, right? It really depends on what other people are taking. And then I can just go and take my course of action from there. I got you, man. And, um, I think, uh, that leads us to our last question here. Is there someone you are excited to battle in the PML draft? Um, <laughs> you know, honestly, I, I, the only other there, I literally only knew know you, Joe. I'm gonna be completely honest right now. <laughs> um, the, this roster sounds like I have no idea on how good these roster of coaches are as a whole. I can only vouch for myself, and I can only vouch for you, Joe. So, um, I'm excited to see what schedule I have. Maybe I battle you one day, Joe. Maybe not. Who knows? But I'm I'm just I'm just here to I'm just here to give people a show for the for the for the views you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just here to have a good time man <laughs> i got you man well i appreciate you coming out is there anything else you want to say to the pml fans before you go yep as always it's been your boy eli the rebel um i'm gonna be signing out now again shout out to shout out to joe for having me in the league in in general and uh the filipino fair thorns are about to about to take over for sure. Glad Just to have wait. You, man. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.